For this exercise, I'd like to concentrate on creating an alternating bass groove, but playing a melody over the top uh, that's kind of on the same string, right? So it's not an arpeggio kind of idea. This one is, um, it stays on the same string, so it feels slightly different for the uh, picking hand. So we've got our groove going again, alternating between strings six and four. And I'm just gonna pick a melody for you. do. Okay, let me break that down super slow. So we're playing on beat one, and then all of the other melody notes are on the off beats. Okay, so here's one, two, and three, and four, and one, two. Okay, so we're looking at one, Two and three and four. One, two, three. So, one, two and three and four and one, two, three, four. One, two and three and four and one, two, three. It's really useful to think about it. And after you've done that, you're probably just going to play it even without counting. So. But what I've seen over the years is something like this happening, where you might go... where the thumb isn't just alternating regularly between string six and four because it just kind of feels comfortable for the right hand. But if you want to have a go at creating a really rock solid groove and that, um, that, that alternating pattern that never changes, it, it would really help, it's, it's helped me. So. Once you've got that, you could turn up the bass. So you're focusing on the thumb and then reverse that so the thumb's quiet and then thinking about the melody one two and three and four one two three four one two and three and four and one two okay and that should ultimately result in a kind of a nice flowing groove, not something where the thumb is really disrupted like this, <laughs> it's kind of, you can keep it simmering away. So with that fine attention to detail, um, it will help your pieces just swing a little more and sit in the groove. <laughs>